Residents of Fostoria and others throughout Seneca and Hancock counties, they were at tonight's EPA hearing for Sunny Farms landfill. The conversation focused on an air permit that is supposed to cut the stench that residents have been complaining about. The landfill has been a hot button issue for several years and tonight it's no different. Tatiana Cash went to that meeting and Tatiana, this meeting got heated. Yes, Melissa, Jeff, I did talk with the EPA though before the meeting because the goal of tonight's meeting again was to talk about the approval of an air pollution operating permit for Sunny Farms landfill, but attendees wanted to talk about more than just that permit. My daughter passed out in the house because the windows were open all night and I forgot that there was one window open. Area residents, protesters, and Sunny Farm landfill employees are here to have their voices heard. Some claiming the smells have made them sick. She passed out on the floor, hit her head on the wall, and I'm supposed to just be okay with this? I'm not okay with it. A renewed air permit allows the company to build another stack, which it says will clean up the air and cut down the stench. But while many are asking how this will force the landfill to clean up its act, management company owner denies doing anything wrong. Mathematically and empirically, evidential evidence shows that that is not because of us. And the EPA backs him up. The current emissions from the landfill do meet federal uh, air quality standards that protect human health and the environment. And despite cutting down the smell, the leader of the landfill protest group, Rat Patrol, says approving this air pollution permit will cause a domino effect. Like, oh no, we're going to put it in another stack and it's going to be just fine. Everybody's going to be just fine. But this new stack is a very big opening for them to get the expansion approval. Because if they get another stack, guess what? They can bring in more trash. But the EPA would not talk about any future expansion at this meeting, saying the focus is the permit, which will be talked about every five years. We update them to include the new uh, emission units that are going in out there that are have done a good job at reducing the odors. That's for large sources of emissions, and most landfills have them. So yeah, maybe we will have less headaches. Maybe there'll be less nosebleeds, less people passing out. But all at the same time, there are still going to be contaminants in the air. It's understandable that people are frustrated because they don't trust it. And we'll continue to earn back that trust as we work into the future. Now, the EPA says anyone who missed the meeting and has a comment about the air pollution permit can submit their comments via mail or uh, email to their website. Live in studio, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11.